What's up? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, of course, back on IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor, BehindTheIndustry.blog. You can check them out. That is BehindTheIndustry.blog. Check them out on all mobile uh, devices and your world wide web. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss one video. Let's go. Friday is coming, went, went now, a day passed, 24 hours passed, and we can talk about some of the hot releases on Friday. We're going to start off with that girl, Big Lotto. So Lotto dropped the song Big Mama. And let me tell you something. I like this little flow, you know, the, the kind of singing hybrid type joint that they got going on. Um, Lotto with, the, with her joint Big Mama. I can't put it on here because I don't want to get dinged, but y'all already know how it goes. Um, I like it, man. I like the the little singing, rapping flow she got going on. And now halfway through, she did the beat changes, and then she starts spitting some bars. Now, we know pretty much Big Mama is about, you know, what what's talking to her man. We we all presume it's 21 Savage, basically saying how, you know, what's he going to do for her, you know, and, and how he holds it down, how he's her number one, you know, and how she don't play about no side chick and, Again, like I said, it's it, it's a a subject that, of course, they've covered before, but I like the little singing, uh, type thing, type vibe she had going on, and that might be Lotto's lane. That's always been a thing. People are saying Lotto doesn't have a lane. She can't figure out her sound. The second and the third, we already know that she can rap and and freestyle, but what you know is going to be your sound that you develop. And if it's this, I'm definitely not mad at it. I, you know, we don't want it to always be this sound because, again, we like when Lotto spits bars. But this song, uh, Big Mama, the drop, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 for the song, Big Mama. It, 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 it was kind of fly. Definitely kind of fly. Moving on to the girl Ice Spice and... People are still talking about this a week later. Ice Spice's song, new song, her new flow, what she had on, and hell, even her background. It all seemed like it is mimicking Nicki Minaj. Now, the song is called Fat Butt, and we heard the Nicki flow. Everybody is going crazy. Talking about Ice Spice is ripping off Nicki Minaj. Just go over some of the bars. She said, hating bees be angry. Hating bees, they ain't me. How the F I'm still chewing bees in gray shorts and a plain T. Mad as F if I was them D and G and it's custom. Cuban link with a pink gem. I'm the one who, who they pumping. Rap B on a pop chart. Toasting bees like pop tarts. You're, there's a metaphor. You're, use a flop B. Knock it off. Where's the champagne? I'm a pop it off. B, you know you ain't like that. Post a pic and he like that. Fat butt with a back tat. And I have been bad like Mike Jack. Talk a lot but ain't saying S. I ain't hear your song. They ain't playing it. Sloppy hoes gonna chat the most if you make your bed better lay in it. Name got the B gagging, hit the bench. I been tagged in. B, you lost, throw the, throw the flag in. Stay on a jet but ain't lagging. So Ice Spice and Ice Spice put in this, uh, put in this verse. She writes her own stuff. She said, F a ghost writer. So F, I wrap myself F a ghost. So Y'all let me know what y'all think so far, you know, of the lyrics of Ice Spice's Fat Butt. And let me know, do you think Ice Spice writes her own bars? Um, This, to me, has been the best I've, I've heard her rap. 
right? She's got some metaphors there. She's got some punchlines. So, you know, shout out to Ice Spice. Y'all let me know what y'all think of the song Fat Butt. Moving on to that boy, Drizzy Drake. And Camilla Cabello, shout out to Camilla Cabello. I got a chance to listen to her album, and it's really pretty good. I'm not a Camilla Cabello fan, never really been. I never really listened to her music at all. But because Drake was on this album and I seen a couple of other names, and I was like, hmm, that could sound interesting. I listened to the album, and the album's actually pretty good. The, now, the song that everybody's talking about is called Hot Uptown. That's with Drake and uh, Camilla Cabello. He's also got a song on there called Ugly, when it's really just Drake, and it's kind of like an interlude, so I, I don't really have any thoughts on that song one way or the other. But this song right here, a lot of people are saying it could be the song of the summer. You know, it's, it's kind of like in the whole uh, controller vibe. Um, what's that song that everybody used to like? Passion Fruit. It's a, in that whole entire vibe, you know. And um, everyone seems to love the song. I like the song, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know, everybody knows that I'm more of a Drake rapper fan than I am of the Drake melodic fan. But the song's a good song, right? Um, and it'd be interesting to see how people respond to it, especially with this media hate train that's going on with Drake. You know, out of any other circumstance, if this song was dropped last year, it'd be number one on all the charts. I see it's like 34, 20, you know, uh, spots where you hardly ever expect to see Drake, especially with a, a artist like Camilla, who, who, who is a, who has had success as a solo artist since leaving Fifth Harmony or since the group breaking up. But now the song is like, oh, you know, 34 or oh, 20, which is good, but not for Drake. You know what I'm saying? But people are saying they think of the song of the summer. We're going to see if this ridiculous, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, hate train on Drake continues. I mean, it's the most ridiculous thing that I've ever seen in, in hip-hop. How people just overnight, all of a sudden, don't like Drake anymore. Because Kendrick Lamar made a diss record and allegedly used bots to get that record everywhere and break all sorts of streaming records. And the media says, so, we don't care. <laughs> you know, the media say, oh, we know he was using bots, but we don't care. So, so that's how that's how much they hate Drake and want Drake, you know, don't want Drake uh, winning anymore, making music or whatever they call themselves doing. So shout out to Drizzy Drake. You know, keep doing your thing, bro. Don't let nobody tell you what you should make, when you should make it. But don't give up on the rap either because that's my favorite Drake. And we're going to close it up with your girl, Megan the Stallion. And congratulations to Megan the Stallion because 18 hours ago, Megan the Stallion is simultaneously number one on U.S. iTunes and Apple Music with her new album, Megan. Now, once again, I haven't given my official review. I did give some of my thoughts on the uh, album, and the numbers are the numbers. Um, so far, I'm not overly impressed with the album, but again, like I said in my live, it's not trash, but I'm not overly impressed uh, as so far. Now, Megan, on this Megan album, a lot of people were waiting to see whether she was going to take shots at Nicki Minaj, and it seems as though she does in a song called Rattle, uh, Megan says, it's been four years, uh, B, worry about your, your man and your kid. Now, a lot of people are thinking that that line is for Kelsey. Um, people were saying, oh no, that's, she's not talking about Nicki Minaj. She's talking about Kelsey because Kelsey still was mentioning Megan in some of her interviews or what have you. Um, where there was, uh, where she may have been talking about Nicki Minaj, and she had another song in which she said, um, something, I'm going to paraphrase it, something along the lines of, oh, you know, I, I, I wanted 
good for everybody. I, I was a little too friendly, you know, and come to find out the, this whole time you were my enemy or something like that. I believe a lot of people think that that line was about Nicki Minaj. And then this line about um, worry about your man and your kid, they think that was for Kelsey. So either way, one of those lines or both of those lines were for Nicki Minaj. And she could have thrown a, a line at Kelsey. You know, who knows? It said, said some, something about reminiscing uh, about, with what, about what we used to do or something like that. I would kind of think that may, that line may be about Kelsey, right? Because what did she really do with Nicki Minaj? Well, she's she spent time with her what two times? I think Kelsey probably may have mentioned the stuff that they used to do. So you let me know down in the comments what you think. Was Megan coming at Nicki Minaj? Was she coming at Kelsey, or was she coming at both? Let me know down in the comments. That's actually. Also, let me know what you think of, of Megan, the album. It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, and we will catch you next time on the IE Network. Peace.